read it. I'm not doing this with you. I made basketball a priority um, probably in like fifth, sixth grade. Well, a priority like fifth, sixth grade when I realized I was nice. When I moved to the suburbs in like sixth grade, that's when I really, you know, made it a priority. I fell in love with the game uh, more than I ever had before. Going to my senior year, I was thinking about transferring and uh, my mom persuaded me not to transfer, so I was still thinking about transferring, so I started slipping on my classes. Then after that, uh, when I went to school, I wasn't eligible to play right away. They wanted me to redshirt, so I started redshirting. My senior year, actually, with, with the year I was redshirting, I got into a situation to where um, I ended up getting arrested and, um, you know, losing my scholarship. Ended up getting off the case. It took two years, I was flying back and forth. Just, you know, embarrassed my family, embarrassed myself. Learned the valuable lesson, needless to say, but it kind of took a toll in my career because a lot of coaches wouldn't take me. You know, they didn't want to take the risk on giving me a scholarship to continue my dream of playing basketball. Um, ended up getting to a, a good situation to where I got a scholarship to finish at Robert Morris. After fighting my case for two years, flying back and forth from here to Oklahoma, I just wasn't focused. I didn't want to really be home. It was just so much, so many distractions and everything going on here. So basketball really didn't pan out for me the way that it was trending. You know, it was ascending, going up. Hit an arrow, me hit a little block, and um, transition. You know, to drumming. I returned back to drumming um, after my senior year in college. My buddy Josh, who plays drums, um, he basically was like, man, you know what you up to? Let's just start working out, man. Just come, you know, come, let's, let's just, you know, jam, start playing drums. Just start like, cause I always loved playing drums. I just never had nobody really push me like that. So he called me one day, he was like, man, what you up to? I'm like, nothing. He's like, man, let's go shed. Let's just sit down and play. And just that one first session, you know, it just fell right back in love with it. It was just that first session. It was like it was over with after that. It was like, it's time to go. 